You should become the black cat only if you want men to worship the ground you walk on. In the realm of relationships, embodying the black cat means embracing your feminine energy, creating a harmonious balance that allows your partner to express his masculine energy. With this guide, you can reclaim your power and evolve into the most confident version of yourself. If you haven't seen my previous video explaining the black cat and golden retriever theory, I highly recommend watching it first. However, in this video, I'll be focusing exclusively on the black cat, and I will walk you through. The signs indicating you're not currently embodying the black cat. The guidelines you should follow to become the black cat. The benefits for men when they embody the golden retriever. Imagine a black cat, calm and self-assured. She doesn't chase after anyone. You have to earn her attention. Just by watching her, you can feel her confidence. A black cat doesn't need validation from anyone else. She's happy on her own. She doesn't beg for your attention. She's perfectly content doing her own things. When she does decide to come up to you, you feel really special, like you're the chosen one. Here's a quick list of behaviors a black cat would never engage in. As we go through these, if you recognize any that sound like you, those are your key areas to work on. Identifying with any of these points isn't a setback. It's your first step towards embracing the transformative journey to embody the elegance and allure of the black cat. You split every bill 50-50, covering rent, food, and dates equally. You're always the initiator, reaching out first, whether it's through calls or texts. You're constantly checking in, letting him know about everything you do. You push the relationship forward, questioning its direction, or you wait way too long for him to make a move. You take the lead in organizing dates, activities, and planning holidays. You are deeply emotionally attached to him. If he disappears, you respond by texting more, trying to reinitiate contact. You are needy and crave his attention constantly. He does something that bothers you, and you just sit there, crying and complaining. Or you're writing him long text messages, begging him to understand you. You cook and clean for him, even though he doesn't fulfill a provider role. Now let's move on to your guidelines to become the black cat. Have a prize mindset. Being the black cat is all about your attitude and mindset. The more you're obsessed with yourself, the more they're going to be obsessed with you. Men are drawn to and easily fall for women who are focused on loving themselves. It's about valuing yourself so highly that only those willing to put in the necessary work can enjoy the privilege of your full attention. You set the standard and only those who meet it get to stay. Use your honeypot energy. Don't chase, attract. Be the honeypot that draws bees in. No need to lift a finger, just be your fabulous self. Utilize the power of your confidence, the expressiveness of your body language, and the warmth of your smile to captivate him. Maintain eye contact, letting your self-assured vibes and natural charm draw him closer effortlessly. Be financially independent. This ensures that you don't rely on your partner giving you the freedom and stability to stand on your own. If something does not work out between you two, your world will not fall apart. Being financially independent means you're equipped to leave if ever disrespected. However, this doesn't imply you should cover any expenses. Remember, your money is your money. Let him pursue you. Don't be an easy win, take things slow. Every now and then, cancel a date to have some me time don't always jump when the phone rings and turn down an invitation or two. This sprinkle of mystery makes him wonder what exciting things you're up to without him, keeping his interest piqued and his competitive spirit engaged. Remember, you're the prize. Make him work for you. Keep gifts meaningful and simple. For occasions like birthdays and Christmas, choose gifts that are simple yet heartfelt instead of expensive. Over-the-top gifting can unintentionally flip the roles casting him as the princess awaiting luxurious offerings. Favor personal gifts like a photo of yourself, a heartfelt letter, or a dance or massage. These thoughtful gestures strengthen the emotional bond without disrupting the balance where men enjoy being providers and women enjoy being receivers. Do less, receive more. A man won't fall in love with you for acting like his personal chef or laundress. If you're constantly cooking, washing his clothes, and checking up on him, you risk fulfilling the role of his mother rather than his romantic partner. Instead, 
Channel that energy into leveling up yourself a little more each day. Focus on your own growth and well-being. Embrace the art of receiving rather than doing. Give him the space to step up and watch how eagerly he takes the opportunity to impress and care for you. Handle problems assertively. If he does something that bothers you, address it directly and clearly, but just once. If the behavior continues, show your displeasure by pulling back your energy, not through prolonged discussions or explanations. Instead of explaining why it was painful for hours, withdraw your energy, even spending a few nights away if needed. Match his effort. It doesn't mean you need to call and text as much as he does. He should always be putting in more effort. If he's not taking the initiative to call or plan, hold back on your end too. But if he's treating you like a true gentleman, then reward his efforts with your wonderful company. Detach from outcomes. Be the least dependent on the relationship's outcome. Always remember to see dating from the right perspective. You're giving him a chance to impress you, not the other way around. Let him take the lead and give him the space to win you over. Remember, you're here to have fun and be entertained. You don't have to prove anything. However, if it takes too long for him to commit and he doesn't show consistency, don't be afraid to walk away. Always know that you deserve the best. Trust me, focusing on yourself will attract someone who worships the ground you walk on. Have your own group of friends. It's essential to maintain a vibrant life outside of the relationship. Engage in activities with your friends and enjoy your time alone, demonstrating that you have a fulfilling life beyond your partner. Your life should be busy, which challenges a man to pursue you even more. Remember, it's not about having a large circle of friends. One or two are perfectly enough. And always make time for your very best friend, yourself. It's beneficial for men to embody the characteristics of the Golden Retriever because it establishes a healthy dynamic in the relationship. When he takes on the role of the pursuer, he naturally steps into the masculine position while you embody the feminine energy. This balance encourages harmony and attraction between both partners. However, if the dynamic shifts and he becomes the black cat, it can lead to a loss of attraction and interest from his side. Men thrive on the pursuit. When you recognize your own value and allow him to pursue you, it inspires him to continue improving and investing in the relationship. Remember, it's your responsibility to protect your heart and demonstrate your worth, so choose your partner wisely. If you feel unfulfilled, it's time to step into your power with your dark feminine energy, embodying the black cat. Keep in mind that men will treat you the same way you treat yourself. If you enjoyed this content and want more, don't forget to subscribe and give us a thumbs up. Stay tuned for more empowering videos on feminine energy. Thank you for watching and always remember, you are the prize.